Now see this again a very very typical picture of the acute red eye. A very very typical picture of acute red eye. You can see here we are having the circum corneal congestion. We are also having the circum corneal congestion. Now whenever we are having acute red eye, I told you you have to think about acute congestive glaucoma or the acute anterior uveitis. Now can I say is it uveitis or is it glaucoma? Circum corneal congestion will be present in both but you can see that the pupil is mid dilated. So because the pupil is mid dilated, therefore it is going in terms of the glaucoma. Then they will tell you about the patient scenario more than 50 years and she will be female along with the hazy cornea. Because of the sudden closure of angle of anterior chamber, you will have hazy cornea, mid dilated pupil more than 50 years female and she will also come with a very very typical symptom of colored halos. She will also come with a very typical symptom of colored halos. Now, Colored halos DD is again important. Uh, when I talk about the DD, one is the cataract, one is the cataract, then second is this acute congestive glaucoma, while third is the acute mucopurulent, acute mucopurulent conjunctivitis. So whenever you have a colored halos in the question, always think about this DD, okay? Now once uh, you are sure, then you can also look for the walk stride here. This is again an inset question. Inset question in the um, early uh, month of the year, in 2022 itself, the earlier paper, they had asked that where it is found. So walk stride is found in the acute congestive glaucoma. And uh, this will be seen over the slit lamp. And what are the parts of this? So one will be the glaucoma flecons. What, uh, what do you mean by glaucoma flecons? Glaucoma flecons means anterior subcapsular cataract. Then number two, we will have the patches of iris atrophy because the intraocular pressure is very, very high. So when I am having very, very high intraocular pressure, eyes, stony heart, we can get the patches of iris atrophy. And number three, we will get the mid -dil uh, dilated. Uh, pupil but uh, yeah but mid dilated pupil is not the part of the triad okay we will have the pigments on the corneal endothelium pigments on the corneal endothelium so this is the vox triad very very important now another important thing is about the treatment so first drug to be given second drug to be given drug of choice and the treatment of choice okay first drug to be given is the IV acetazolamide first drug to be given is iv acetazolamide second drug to be given is iv mannitol then uh, drug of choice is uh, pilocarpine okay drug of choice is pilocarpine treatment of choice is laser iridotomy or it can be surgical pi so you have to be very very sure acetazolamide and mannitol are not the drug of choice they are just the first and second drug to be used, okay? Why acetazolamide is the first one? Because it is acting on the aqueous humor and mannitol is acting on the vitreous humor. That is why it is a second drug. It is having the mid dilatation of the pupil. Therefore, pilocarpine, which is a meiotic drug. Because it is a meiotic drug, that is why it is the drug of choice. And main problem is occurring due to pupillary block. So, we are creating the accessory pupil with the help of laser iridotomy or surgical PI. 